this is fat bee man and I'm gonna do one of my uh, organic treatments and I'd like to give a shout out to I got a real good friend down in Mexico she's got a book and it probably is gonna go along with a lot of things that I'm talking about she does a lot of organic stuff and Miss Tina Tarina in Mexico City you probably done read about it. She's got some, several books out. She's a movie star, and can you believe she's talking to me? Well, <clears throat> like to give another shout out to my friends up in Canada. They say I'm not giving them enough shout outs. Uh, I'm reading your uh, comments, and I try to respond to everybody. And I got some friends on B Source that I'll come in there every night, and we kind of shoot the bull about bees. Spark and Ozone and the Honey Man, he keeps everybody in line there. If you need any information, you want to ask questions, good place to go in and get a little information. Now what I'm going to do basically is treatment uh, for mites. And I've got a lot of people who will send me emails and they'll say, why are you doing so many of these different treatments? What is actually working? Well, here we go to the thing. This is powder sugar. And some people don't want to use essence of oils. They don't want to use a lot of different things that I do. Well, you have to realize this is a learning yard. And I'm teaching many ways to treat your bees. You need to figure out what is going to work for you, what you are comfortable with. This is the easiest method of treating bees. Now this is just a screen. I got a got this figured out or or made. This is for an eight frame high. But if you're running 10 frame, just build this framework to 10 frame or 5 frame. And you can powder sugar your bees just by putting it over the top. Now there's a lot of people out there that don't want to put nothing in. This is plain powder sugar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some oregano, ground up oregano, and I'm going to put, this uh, is just plain powder sugar right now, and I'm going to put two good spoons full, good heaping spoons full of ground oregano in here. Here's one spoon, another spoon. Now. These are herbs that you can eat. They're not going to hurt you. But it's nature's way of taking care of mites and in gardenings. Now the second ingredient is thyme. I'm going to put one good spoon of thyme in here. And then I'm going to close this up. And I'm going to mix this. Just get this mixture mixed up good and you probably notice I've got this is an old peanut butter container I'm big on recycling things and mix this powder sugar up with your herbs here now here is the lid that come off of the GIF I shouldn't mention brands but this is peanut butter you put that on there that keeps it uh, nice and dry in case you have humidity but you can also use, here's a lid that come from Parmesan cheese. You open it up and it's got these holes. I don't particularly like these holes, but it's usable. You got too big of holes. Now here is a metal a sealer cap that goes on your jar. Now I've got two holes in here. I don't know if you can see them. That is almost enough, but if you have bought entrance feeders for your beehive, on the entrance feeders they have a series of holes all around. It basically it looked like a salt shaker. Put that on, screw it on, go out, dust your bees. But let's say you don't want to do any of that. You can mix up this in any amount that you have. I've got it mixed up for hobbyist beekeepers and just go out there and dust a little bit. But going back to this, now if you have a lot of hives, you can mix this up in 25 pound bags. This bag here is about a, probably a 10 pound bag of powdered sugar. The, the bigger the operation, the bigger the supplies you have to get. 
But you can take this and take about two tablespoons full, just dip in here and put it on your screen. And then you can take your a brush, your bead brush, and just kind of go back and forth with it. Thought I had a bead brush up here. Guess the students have moved it around somewhere. But uh, that's that's one way of tr uh, treating bees. And this is oregano and fine with powder sugar. Very simple to do. It's it's pretty effective, but you need to do that once a week. And you might not have that much time you want to spend on bees, but there's people that's retired. They don't want to put mineral oil in their hive. They don't want to use essence of oils. This is another alternative. Now I'm going to do quite a few different videos on different ways to treat bees. And if you're enjoying the videos, I'd appreciate if you send a little donation. It helps put out this information rather than me going and trying to put it into ebooks and selling it. If you go out and buy a book and you get any information at all of it, it's worth at least the cost of the book. Now, I'm taking time to do these videos, and as the season goes on, the, the time gets more limited to what I can do. If I have students up here, I'm taking a student and going through the, all the operations, but uh, I hope to put a whole series of treating with herbs from your kitchen. Just plain herbs work to treat bees. I'm going to do several on e essence of oils and mixing up a honeybee healthy formula. So stay tuned and, and uh, leave a comment on the channel there. Subscribe and ch uh, just click on there if you like it. Uh, I'm on Facebook as Donald Cook and Maestro. You can get on there and you can read what we're doing. I try to post on there something every day. Uh, I just don't want to bore people with the little piddly things that in my life that Maybe they ain't important to some people. I appreciate you watching the Fat Bee Man.